Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver staffers, editors, friends, and contributors gather to search for cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge, and uh, our special guest, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. Our, this week's challenge is to find cars that would be perfect for the Radwood Car Show. Uh, Radwood is an 80s and 90s car show, um, and the more rad your car in 80s, 90s parlance, the better. Uh, so we're joined by the founder of Radwood and who also does a few other shows, Auto, Autotopia 2099 and Rad for Sale, which is presumably a, a website where you sell Radwood cars. Is that right? That's yeah. Brad Brownell. Brad, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Yes, uh, it's good to be here. Uh, honored, as always, to spend time with Burley. And... <laughs> Yeah, we have nothing but guys. love. Nothing but love. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We all are. This is our this is our weekly um, welfare check on him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Radwood started in 2017. Uh, there's four of us co-founders, and we just saw there was a, a kind of a gap in the car show market, and uh, mostly stuff that mostly the things that we wanted to show didn't really have a place. So. <laughs> Uh, we started a car show for ourselves and other people kind of found it uh, uh, a good place to go. So yeah, it's grown exponentially since then. We've had, I think, <laughs> 20 shows in the last four years. Obviously, we didn't have any last year. So you had the, vir uh, ready. You had the virtual ones last year. We had, the, we had two virtual shows. Yep. And then uh, our first show back in person is July 10th. So uh, as you're watching this, that's what, a week away? A week and, and where a half away? That, where's that show going to be? That will be just south of San Francisco on the peninsula. So, oh, cool. yep. Uh, like when, I, when I see Radwood stuff, I feel like all those folks were, were living in cabins like the Unabomber waiting for their moment. <laughs> and then they were like, yes. oh my God, yeah. there's a show it's for here. us. And they brought their, their <laughs> Paseos. <laughs> it's the first car show I've gone to where I didn't have to listen to the Beach Boys. And I don't, right. but I mean, you'll, you'll listen to Flock of Seagulls instead of all the 60s. Yes. And yes. All right. you, mean, um, you, mean you were sick of Dick Dale? Yeah. <laughs> a little old so, lady in Pasadena. I've had enough of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you did mention Rad for Sale there. That is uh, our auction site, radforsale.com. Uh, obviously, when we couldn't do shows last year during the pandemic, we had to pivot. And that was uh, what we came up with. And it seems to be working out pretty well so far. So go check it out. Cars for sale. Oh, sale. And it has nothing to do with Doug DeMuro. It does not have anything to do with Doug DeMuro. He's <laughs> obsessed with Doug DeMuro, Pearly. Pearly's got a few obsessions, which is why these welfare checks. <laughs> yeah. I, All right. Well, I, uh, I imagine we're, we're joined I'm, by. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. We'll get back to that. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't. I, I thought you were done, Brad. Go ahead. I was going to oh, make no. a manifesto joke, but <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> I was just going to say uh, that that Doug's site came out like three weeks before ours, so uh, we probably were planning them at the same time. We had no idea that cars and business <laughs> was going to come out, but but it did, yes. and uh, there's plenty of room in the market for for everybody. So we uh, really enjoyed Doug, and obviously bring a trailer and, and everybody that's in the <laughs> space. So <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for joining us, Brad. We're also joined by Deputy Testing Director, Mr. Casey Colwell, uh, Road and Tracks Senior Editor, Mr. John Perley Huffman, mm -hmm. and Contributor, Mr. Jonathan. And I want to I want to clarify, hatless contributor, Jonathan Ramsey, whose face you can see clearly <laughs> is who I am this week. That's Four. my it's my title <laughs> this week. Several law enforcement agencies are already recording this. <laughs> All right, Perley. Pearly, you're up to bat. Let's well, see first of all, I'm watching my site, Pearly, for sale. <laughs> <laughs> what do you sell? Hairbrushes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I don't, yeah. I think all it's right. Pearly in reference. All right. Let's, let's go here. Well, I started, this is this is my era. This is, this is how I got my job in automotive journalism. So this started just about the time of Radwood time. Uh, Art Morrison gave me the shirt. So thank you to them. <laughs> and this is this is my this is my uh this is my car my car the Eagle Premier ES beautiful <laughs> which is a I, which is a car that was built as a French car with an Italian designed body 
and an all-American interior. Yeah, we got okay, already okay, got okay. It. okay, you've led with the road test. Let's see the basket. I know. We see. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> this is not oh, a basket. Nice. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, six thousand nine hundred bucks. Only has forty-seven thousand miles on it. This is from Garage Kit Motors. Remember, these are the guys who had that Supra. Yeah. 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 Well, wait a minute, Pearly. I feel like if I had picked this, and this is this is what I would have picked. You you wouldn't like it. Why do you like this? Also, because it's something. This is something I beat you to. Product. That's why I like it. It's like, <laughs> I got to tell you before, Jonathan. But you know, these are actually uh, these. Are, this is actually a better car. It had never had the sales, but it wasn't a bad car for its time. Keep scrolling while you're talking. <laughs> this is the interior, which is about as that's I, if that isn't rad, I don't know what is. I've sat no, in this, the IP. Yeah, the IP is insane. Yeah, I remember I, reading about this car, and then a buddy, uh, not not a close friend, but um, a guy on my hockey team, picked me up in one of these and I was I was probably like 14 at the time and I was just like staring <laughs> at, at like that binnacle and all the controls just looking at it going what in the is that yeah well, there's no, a and these controls off the steering wheel right Casey is that what you're talking about yeah yeah it's like all yeah all the and and, and like the turn signal is really funky like the, the yeah. turn signal you got that sort of uh, gauge panel between the dash yeah, it's, got, it's, got, it's got this weird turn signal. Ben Pat Bedard pointed this out in his counterpoint yeah. on the road to us. These are just <laughs> these are just super cocaine delicious type. Look at uh, you using the zoom. You're getting better. Oh, yeah. shut up, Tony. You didn't zoom all the way out yet. <laughs> Here is a uh, crushed velvet supercar uh, stuff. And, uh, and I want to know what's that stripe? Oh, does that mean that it's just a shadow? Is this powered the by the PRV6? It has the PRV6, so it's just like having a DeLorean. <laughs> just like it. Just like Absolutely having, the same. Just same, like it. Same engine, same engine, same transmission. Powered by, or um, it's a Jajaro body, right? He did the design on the he, 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 Yes, this is the most boring car yeah, Jajaro ever designed. I don't, know, I don't know if design is the, uh, is the like, <laughs> yeah. word yeah. to use for that. I may be, that may be the equivalent, a designer's equivalent of selling out. Like, <laughs> that is, how exactly. much? It's like, they want, they want what? <laughs> I, like, I like I like the fact that if you look at this, this is a fairly far this is a fairly far away uh, shot, but you can already see the orange peel in the paint. <laughs> but also, but look, but that actually that back angle, especially the headrest, that's pure. Was it Audi one hundred? Yeah, from, exactly. uh, Audi five thousand. Yeah, Audi yeah. five thousand. Or five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I gotta uh, imagine this is like his. Well, was who did who did all the uh, uh, the Bruno Sacco stuff? Um, Bruno Sacco. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, all, all all of his cars. It's like maybe this was. Uh, yeah. Where was this made, Pearly? Was it made in Canada or the United? States? It's at the Bramalea Brampton plant, which is still inactive. That's where they make the Challengers and the Chargers and the three hundreds. So French mm. design, made in Canada, Italian bodywork. No, it, okay. Italian design, French company, Italian body. It, it, it's, right. Well, it's based on the Renault twenty five, which is right. the basic chassis. Uh, the body is mm. designed by Giorgio. I mean, look at this paint. This and wait, paint. what what year is this car? It's a ninety one. Oh, not, oh, night. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If ever, if ever there was a phoned in design, this is it. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, that's that's an 80s car in spirit, though, Pearly. So I don't know if, oh, we, if we can. For sure. Oh, oh, this was, this for... was going to be this was going to be sold in the U.S. just as a Renault, right? But then it was yeah. the whole AMC. Um, well, uh, it's Chrysler, acquisition, Chrysler. Chrysler's acquisition of wow. AMC. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. 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 Chrysler acquired AMC in 87. Well, they purchased the Monaco too, didn't they? It, well, well, the thing is, is, they had a contract with Renault to buy like two hundred fifty thousand engines. Keep scrolling. And they weren't, and they weren't selling enough. They weren't selling enough of the uh, of the uh, premieres. So of they anything. branded that to Monaco. <laughs> well, it's a I mean, those those bond out of like all that too, didn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I had thought I thought I thought the sale didn't close till eighty seven. I thought they had been effectively like it was a done deal once I saw the they, Cherokee. The thing, the, the certain things are interesting, like the fact that the, uh, if you look at this, is that the uh, the pinstripe stops. Yeah. It doesn't make it across the. Uh, it's been rear ended. They used a roller on that uh, trunk. Yeah, roller. yeah. This is. I, I have a feeling this thing's been hit. A heavy but, nap. Why did you pick it? Because look, it has a thing. <laughs> it's sixty nine hundred bucks, and you're showing up at Radwood in comfort and style. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Comfort. I mean, I I think those both of those are arguable. <laughs> Thank you. For sure, Thank for you. sure on comfort. For sure on comfort. Really, yeah. is there a oh. shot of the back seat? These things what? have huge back seats. They do have when you're not seats. moving. This is this was considered in France. This was considered a limousine. Keep going. <laughs> Let's see a shot of the back seat. What, what, what is it considered in Santa Barbara? 
<laughs> I say. <laughs> I think it's a homeless shelter is what it is in Santa Barbara. Well, this 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 would be parks by the beach with somebody living in it. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, but I mean, a residence. So it's a residence. It's a residence. Or, or or it's an Airbnb. Well, this is, <laughs> this is yeah. just just enough to piss off my HOA. So, <laughs> Here we go again. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is the back seat. These were com- these were comfortable cars, and you know oh, they were. They were the basis for the LH cars too. You know, the LH cars are essentially updates of this car. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> We've been through this before. You, you yeah. are wrong. Tony, no, you're yeah. wrong. Here we go. Tony, you know, Tony you know, is about to dunk right over. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have, I have, you, want, you want to read the quote? You want to read the quote from Bob Lutz himself saying that it was baby Early, LH? He says it was inspired by it because it has a huge interior. It doesn't say anything about any sharing. Or why? Do, why? Why do you think? Why do you think they based? You know, why do you think they the LH has had the a longitudinal engine like in this car? It's because the plant <laughs> set up for it. It's they have four wheels. Yes, seats. The platform is not the same. It's a tour. It's not, it's not. It's not the same platform. It's a revised platform. Oh, here no, I, I, I don't think so. I, I, I re- Pearly, your thesaurus won't help you with this one. That, <laughs> it's, it's over. Is that revised from the ground up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's no, over. Okay. okay. Well, no, you got to put that on a T-shirt now because that's. <laughs> Revised from the ground up. Here, here's here's that pod with the weird uh, tent where they put the lights and the electric mm. wipers and all in the same strange pod. So this interior design also inspired the first Grand Cherokee interior design. That doesn't well, mean that it's the same car, Pearl. Well, the, the Grand Cherokee was designed almost at the same time as this by the same people at AMC. Right. It was inspired. It's not the same. It doesn't inspired. mean inspired. Good. No. Is that like I, Dolby I, noise reduction? And I, yeah, and I was, what is that? Is that an equalizer but, uh, readout? I'm sure there is an equalizer available. Take a look at that oh, brake fluid. No, because the king of scrolling is. Can we take a look at the brake fluid. What's it for for uh, for for, uh, for the brake fluid fetishes out there, including Tony Caraga? It looks pretty bad. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Fair enough, Pearly. I think we're done. We can I don't know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't That's pick a... something you liked. Which. What the I hell? I, you, I, if I, you, I also wanted to pick this. That would have been Ooh. much better. I mean, <laughs> much better. I couldn't I figure out which one was going to be more likely, but this isn't a Grand National. This is a T type, and I think this is a badass car. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm think? sitting in a turbocharged Regal right now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a good one to play to my sensibilities. Is, is it, wait, is your, is, so your Regal, isn't it based on this one, Bradley? Uh, no. <laughs> isn't that? Oh, yeah. They're basically, oh, yeah. Okay. Because I thought, yeah, I thought I read that yeah, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the other car. That was the other car I was considering. So now I will stop sharing so you guys can go on and do whatever you want. <laughs> the bad yeah, was inspired by <laughs> Jonathan. Uh, so I just want to premise this by I, I don't know much about Radwood, but I when they said 80s and 90s cars, I wanted a car that felt like being in the 80s and not just the 80s. I spent the ninth grade in Columbus, Indiana, and I wanted to feel like I was back in Columbus and headed to see Top Gun and going to Dairy Queen and the arcade uh, to play Battlezone and so Tempest. Basically, so basically, uh, Dazed and Confused, but in Indiana? <laughs> That's, and and without the drugs, because I was a age. good kid. <laughs> so I went with the Chevy Celebrity Wagon. Because, oh, I oh, saw this. I saw that this. Was, yeah, and I was I was tempted to get this celebrity because this is really more of my experience. But wait, <laughs> wait, wait. What did I go way over budget? What was the budget this week? No, the, 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 was, no, the budget was forty grand, and I could not okay, understand. Okay, okay. Yeah, I could not understand spending forty grand. For if, you spent 30, if you spent thirty grand, you kind of violated the spirit of Radwood already, haven't you? If you spent thirty grand on the car, I, I oh, not not necessarily. There's a lot of. Uh... I mean, there's a lot of money in cars cool these days. Pearly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, all right. the uh, well, and and now that you've mentioned the Chevy Celebrity station wagon, that's going to be a thirty grand car now. That's, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the window shop tariff. The old, the old, the old <laughs> self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Um, uh, so this was a, supposedly, according to Wikipedia, this was the first mid-sized wagon since. Uh, 98, 77 to have three rows um, really? and to make that third row comfortable 
Oh, well, I'll get to it. Uh, but you, you had the third row. Yeah, there is a third row in uh, Celebrity Wagon. I guess when they, I guess when they downsized the A cars in '78, they got rid of the third row. Um, the this, I did, by this point, it should have been a high output 2.8. I don't know if that was optional, but the base one had 112 horsepower, and then they had a 130 horsepower version. And I mean, I think that's high. the multi port. The multi port gave you 130 horsepower. I think. Oh, okay. Um, How that do is, you remember that? There's a 140 <laughs> horsepower version in the, I, in the X11 in the X11 wasn't the 100. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, X11 in the uh, S10 wasn't it? Was the also other one? Because you could get a supercharger. You could still get one actually for this to crank it up to 300 horsepower. If what? What? Yeah. Two eight? Are you sure? No. Wait, wait, wait. Did you did you say crank it up to how many horsepower? 300. 300. That's like that's like double the horsepower. I don't think no. so. No. <laughs> that's I thought, okay. I was, I was, then the supercharger people lied. And I can't, I can't imagine. Yo, hold, hold, hold. Are you saying, are you saying that, are you saying that aftermarket, aftermarket, aftermarket like exaggerate, just exaggerate? exaggerate. It's, it's, just, it's never happened in my experience, but if you say so, okay. I'm, sh I'm shocked, shocked to hear that. Uh, so oh, yeah, is this an can, Arizona car? For the, well, I don't know, yeah, I don't know where it was originally, but it is now. Are the, the badges, uh, the badges look a little high. I think it might've been rear-ended. I don't, And the I gap think, between that tail light. The gap between the tail light. No, I think it's. I don't think the badges are high. The badges are where they belong. I mean, maybe it's the angle no. and like this. I don't think so. I think the badges were set lower from the factory. Uh, well, we're I, gonna we're gonna find out. Well, this um, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the bumper the bumper thing there has been pretty well cracked open too. The bumper the, the bumper filler panel between the cracked bumper. open where where. Look at the crack, yeah. the cracks. Look at those cracks all the way across. Really, I don't know. After looking at your car, I don't know how much you can. These are it. these are cracks. <laughs> these, these are these are inserts between the bumper and the body. There's one there, two, three, four. No, no, no. Five. Those are cracks. Those no, are cracks. Those are expansion <laughs> joints. <laughs> and you could open the third row. The third rowers could open this back window, which is why they put it there to mm. get. Uh, Oh yeah! So much Paul Mall smoke exhausted. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> was there a Eurosport version of the wagon? I wonder. I don't know. Uh, yes. There, yes. Yeah, you could get yeah. Eurosport. I I prefer the uh, the original and uh, all wire wheels on this one, um, which were a four hundred dollar option. <laughs> but Our, it's, uh, even been, it's even been covered. Oh my so, god! Somebody cared for this thing. Our most um, recent could, show. You say that like they should be in Texas. About it. That's yeah. I mean, yeah. For uh, to have this car look like this, it's impressive. God. It's impressive. These disappeared yeah. from the earth. They were all yes. around and are all. No, I mean, most yep. of them. The the ones that have lived, are you know, they look at best. They look terrible. I mean, they look like they should be dead. Yeah, they're uh, so. <laughs> I don't know what this guy did. I couldn't find a review of it anywhere. <laughs> I, didn't, start, I, didn't, I don't know if anyone a Chevy celebrity it. fan page that all like the search criteria is like <laughs> like celebrity like like uh, celebrity sightings in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're almost yeah, they're impossible to find. Um, Brad, what's the, the mix? <laughs> what's the mix of American cars and you know European and Asian cars at at Chevy? Uh, by far, our our biggest. Uh, brand is BMW. We get a lot of BMWs. Um, for a while, especially at the beginning, Porsche was number two. Uh, American cars, it depends on the venue where they do well and where they do less well. San Francisco is going to have fewer American cars for sure. Detroit was obviously way more. So depending on where we have the show, We'll have a, a different mix, but for the most part, European is still the number one. It's still the dominant. Yeah. Let's yeah. see if there's any rear shots, Jonathan. The the funniest thing about that uh, was that the 144,000 mile one was in better shape than the 72,000 mile one. And it's like, well, yeah, that's what you get with a, when you're a celebrity. Jonathan, and, those uh, are lower. <laughs> Jonathan, those yeah. are lower. That's the correct. Oh, yeah. This number. is a but this this is a different model year. No, it doesn't. This matter. must be. The template at the factory was the same. Oh, no. Yeah, but they it's, like, it's like a little it. jig. No, it's now, a little jig. Were, were, yeah, no, and now I remember reading this. They changed it for the 86. <laughs> because people requested it be a little higher that year. No, I'm, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Was this, was this a pearly byline in Carcraft? 
<laughs> when, when I was with CarCraft, I did a story <laughs> on this. It was one of my <laughs> first assignments as an auto how, how, how long did you work on the line there, Tony? Were, did you, were you... <laughs> no, I just, when I was driving around in the 80s, this was a very common car to see. And so I recognized yeah. the badges were in the wrong place. See those uh, are high. Yeah, and those the, are between the two. They use the they use the line on the um, on, on the, the bottom on the, on the tail light as a as like oh a guide. between hold yeah, on. those are a whole those are a whole uh, uh, lens lower. That's incorrect. I'm like a half a lens. Half Doesn't lower. matter. The car's been rear ended. I don't want it. You know, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, it, it can't even rear end it because who who would move like how could you even move these up? Who would move them up? You well, got the sheet, you got the cross sheet metal, and then you had to replace them. They just yeah. stuck them on. You replace the bag and you put them in the wrong place. A little jig that works that in the corner, and then you, you like press that it. That doesn't sound like this kind of celebrity owner, right? Yeah, here. this is, is going to be bad at the on the lawn at, uh, at Monterey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Points. Yeah, points. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Tony is totally going to be one of those super, yeah, <laughs> super stodgy judges. <laughs> oh my God. Just like, like, yeah. I, oh, man, you don't, you don't deserve my wagon, but I'll still take you all to the arcade. And Derek, Great. I almost picked, I ready. almost picked a celebrity, so I, I can't talk. I can't <laughs> talk bad about your car. All right, Casey, you're up to bat. All right, um, I like spending my budget. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, let me let me cue it up so it's not. Uh, and share screen. I've done this before. Oh, <laughs> another GTV. Yep. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> okay. Interesting. But I, I do love this. We've never had a GTV six though on the show. Have I, we? I don't. These I don't think cars. we have. Um, and uh, I, I dig these cars a lot. Uh, I think they are very eighties. This like, and this car is also in Florida, in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, but it reminds me of uh, stories that uh, Dominic and Fonte. Uh, tell us about having a GTV6. Casey, will you scroll? I, I am, is it not scrolling? Oh, no, it's not scrolling. Okay. Wait, wait, share wait. and share again. Try it again. Stop. And this, the first time I saw one of those was during my ninth grade year in Columbus, Indiana, and I fell in love with it. Uh, where is Columbus, Indiana? I know Columbus, Ohio, and Columbus, Indiana, where's that? Columbus, Indiana is like at 90 minutes south, like almost due south of Indianapolis. Oh. But Cummins Engine Company was a uh, headquarters there, so you, you know I, I don't it's think these cars is, is very eighties except those fender flares. Oh, here we go. So <laughs> oh okay, God. so what what about a car that went on sale in nineteen eighty one is an eighties? Well, I mean, it's, it's the four cylinder. The four cylinder version dates back to what seventy eight or so. Seventy five. Seventy five. Eighty six. Two point five debuted in nineteen eighty one. Okay, right. but the, but I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not challenging you there because I think the I think the fender flares and but and the body rot really brings it into the 80s. I love uh, it. that's actually the first shot. That's a little bit, but that's that. I mean, I, this is immaculate condition for an Alfa Romeo at this age. Well, the yeah. fender flares the fender flares were were definitely crafted by somebody who almost knew what they were doing. Did you any of your cars have uh, Recaro seats? No, or a Momo nice. steering wheel. Look at that Momo steering wheel. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> Very period correct. The mesh, the mesh head headrests. That's the that's it right there. Oh my yeah. God. That's, that's great. That's great. It's very nice. Uh, it does have you know, and, and it was. Um, uh, wow. <laughs> Hold on. Go back to the cover of that book. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I know, I don't yeah. Think. He he made that in homeroom. Is what. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's it's like this is you know. This is the car. Got it, and you know this guy got it in 2011. <laughs> you know, apparently started it once a week and let it run and get up to temp. Mm. Uh, are there any drawings in this? Did he have? Are there any drawings? <laughs> I want. I want to see the it's S. Like drawing, it's like it's like. Uh, well, like, the, the, the name of the company. Did he order any moths from overseas? <laughs> you keep a record of that. Um, uh, but this is yeah. There's that steering wheel. Mm. Look at that position. This the seating position is crazy. It's got the. the the Italian steering wheel steering position. It's fa mm -hmm. fascinating wear on the headliner. Oh, the headliners <laughs> sag in these. I mean, you can see the sag in the uh, in the in the visor. Yeah, and is that the is that the handle for the 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 sunroof? How does that? You just stick your fingers up there, or what? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it, it flips down and you twist it. You crank yeah. it. Yeah. I like the I like the afterthought stereo installation. <laughs> yeah, the the after yeah the aftermarket stereo is not not ideal. But well, that's not aftermarket. That's afterthought. Oh yeah, maybe how do we put a stereo in this thing? Uh, and yeah, the 
the Italian coach steering wheel position. You know, this is. Uh, Does it? Do you, think ice cold, do you think ice cold air comes out of those vents? I, uh, I think I think air like it's like it's it's basically it's like it, it's like if you were imagine an Italian smoking in a uh, <laughs> like if you wanted to eat on yeah. like an Italian smoking in a cafe, I'd be like, okay, so it smells like espresso. And but that's, that's like smoke. that's how much that's how much heat comes out. You know, but one of my favorite movie cha- one of my underappreciated movie chasings is uh, James Bond driving one of these in um, octopus. He just rips the hell out of one of these things. Was being chased by got by cops in a in BMW five series, and it lasted so, the whole. I, I do. I do also want to. I do yeah. also want to point out this is a really cool uh, uh, car. Technically, just because it's like torsion bar, uh, control arm, front suspension. Uh, it's Idiot a DD on in the rear with a trans axle and inboard <laughs> brakes. Um, like they're they're these are cool chassis. I mean, this basically evolved into the Milano, um, which is one of my favorites, but. Well, I just, I just heard a mechanic ringing up more money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with, with everything you described. They started, they started as the Alpheta and GT. Right. Yep. So yep. But yeah. the, Buso, the Buso V6 is really, really a special engine. Yeah. 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 You know, you know I, 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 the, the four cylinder, the twin spark four cylinder they had in 75, that was a pretty neat engine, too. Yeah. For 1975, maybe. Yeah. I mean, was, it, was all that cladding, did that come with the car? Or was that, was that the trim model that that came with? I think it was, I think there were trims that were like, so this is not, there was a, uh, there was a, was it a Boloco? Uh, was the, was the, there was a really hot racy one that, uh, mm. that had, had, uh, uh, you know, the clover leaves. Yeah, the, I think they, I think they were like back here somewhere. Right. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've seen GTV sixes with that body cladding. I mean, this is a late car. This is a, All right. you know, this is an 86. Right. Um, so this was probably like, you know, like that was a, is that, the last, a refresh. is that the last year of these or 87 or 88? I think it might have been 87. Uh, the, rear, the rear bumpers got that kind of swim deck look on to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's just a really it's a really unique shape. Um I I love them when I see them on the road. Um but and this was also, I mean, this is a this is a low mileage oh, car. Yeah. Um uh, does that have a clean Florida title? Um <laughs> Florida, clean Florida. Yeah, clean. Yeah. Clean, clean and Florida are both in quotes. I don't right, know what that right, means. Right. Um, but it uh, really looks like Florida, doesn't it? It's, well, it's in Sarasota. Now, wait, so really. I, just, I just want to be clear those fender flares are not factory, are they? They are not. I just we just know. went through this. I, know, I think they are. <laughs> they Some of them they are. Yeah, on the on later models. I don't remember seeing them. It looks aftermarket to me, especially in the front. Well, but the way well, but the way that it way that it flows into the body in the back seems like that uh, came with the car. Yeah, see, that's, those are the ones I remember without the flares. That's the first issue of Car and Driver I ever purchased. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> What's on the cover? On the Doctor history. This the is the eighty-two Corvette. Corvette. How quick, quick shot is it? How quick was it? Well, oh, uh, no, twin engine. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I, I thought you were looking at the Corvette cover, the 81. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this was this this 81 was this was the, the road test um, uh, that we that we ran. Why is it, uh, sorry, my uh, <laughs> special electric car report in 1981 that's uh we could, we could blow that up for uh for your tw- for your uh for your show it wasn't special yeah <laughs> yeah uh, yeah 137 let me get down there 80s electric cars man they were just on it they were so good it was a good decade for cars <laughs> really good decade yeah, right that's why there's so many of them around now especially yeah. electric yeah especially electric cars half, half mile range <laughs> right there, there's a, is that the spec panel? Yeah. There's a spec panel. So it's like I think it was eight two to sixty. Yeah, eight that's two quick. to sixty. That's pretty quick. For Sixteen 19. one and eighty two. Um, mm-hmm. You know these cars, they, they you know they didn't weigh a ton. They were twenty eight hundred pounds. That uh, twenty nine. So they literally weighed a ton. Well, yeah, and twenty eight hundred pounds. That's that's what a, a celebrity wagon weighed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but your celebrity wagon didn't have a hundred fifty four horsepower. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you can you can soup it up to three hundo, but, oh, but <laughs> well, that's, all, that's what the guy told me. All it takes, me. 
All it takes is a supercharger oh. to double the horsepower. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is the Blau Punk Sacramento in there? That, that would have been so good. Well, anyway. Sacramento, God. So the 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 one that you've picked, that's that front air dam looks way deeper than stock. Right, right. So yeah, yeah there, was, there so has to be this was uh I think this was eighty I think yeah, oh, okay. five. Was this eighty five? So Okay. Casey, um, Beverly Hills motoring accessories probably has an ad for the, your aero kit in that issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, then it's period correct. And it's perfect. period correct. Yeah, it is. I mean, the, 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 the spoilers and the fender flares make the car 80s and 90s. I don't have any problem with that at all. I think that yeah, actually. Cool. And I think it's like I'm, that Beretta we looked at. This was the car trying to live. For I'm gonna. A few more years. I'm gonna. I'm gonna text my. I don't have my phone, of course. My all right, Casey. Is, but I was gonna. I was gonna text Rob Steele. Shout out, Rob. And time. a picture of it, and he you would be guys like, oh, ready to see the winner. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh god! <laughs> by by the way, by the way, is that baller hardware? Baller, <laughs> baller, baller <laughs> hardware. Okay, so I thought. Oh. This, I, this, Wait, I thought this wasn't your car. This is not my car. This is my car. The Toyota Sarah. Oh, okay. What? Look at that style. I've got Radwood style. You hate right-hand drive. <laughs> Just driving it to the show. Oh, no, this is this, this. I remember. I oh man. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know right if now. you you've gone the pearly route with trying to please the rad with judges. Look at that nothing is <laughs> your cars can't hold a candle to the radness of. Oh this. please, no. how are you going to register in that in California? It's show and display. I'm only going to Radwood. You what? I'm you, only you to went, you had, Is it twenty five? How many miles can, can you drive? How many miles can you drive with show and display? I, I enough to go to Radwood. It doesn't need to be shown yeah. to play. It's more than 25 years old. You can yeah, really but it won't pass on. Yeah, you can't drive that to San Francisco. Yes, you can. Uh, now, hang on just a moment. <laughs> I happen I happen to live in Nevada, so I'd be happy to register this car in Nevada. Oh, for, for anyone who would like to drive this to California. Brad, Brad to, give you, to give you the backstory here, I um, also, I like odd cars like this. Um, okay. I'm, I present when Tony's like, well, I can't register that in California. What do you mean? I don't want to own this. I just want to win Radwood. That's my goal. No, I'll see. You're not going to win Radwood with that janky steering wheel, I'll tell you. Oh, thank you. I have no First problem, all, Mr. Colwell. And I want to... <laughs> you got it, <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, all right. all I, right. believe, that's, that's... I believe he brought yeah. receipts. That's... <laughs> mm. Come on. These... Uh, but... What about oh, that, that gauge the... cluster? What is up with those gauges? They're and factory. You also give me every time I, I present a right-hand drive car. I know, but Casey, <laughs> I just want to win Radwood. I don't. Well, I, uh, somebody explain to me why you think this can't get registered in California. You can't smog it. The engine was never smogged in California. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you're right. You're right. I'm wrong. I should <laughs> look at that. Are you happy, Pearly? Are you happy now? Go, or do you want another reason? Go back yeah. one shot. There was a car with stripes. What? What was that? Oh, that's oh, is a that Subaru. Uh, yeah, Subaru? it's an Impreza. Yeah, I dig that. That's a Dixie <laughs> Cup. That's a Dixie Cup routine right there. Don't yeah. let your eyes stray, Brad. Don't let your. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where is this? Is this? Is this? Was this like place in Virginia? Oh look, there's what there's a Syrah right next to it. These are all, yeah. these are all a bunch of imports. Where is there's a found? cappuccino and a yeah Honda Energy. Is this, is this, yeah. Is this in Virginia? Is that the, is this this place in Virginia? Hold on, hold on. Yes, yes. The yeah. Gator for the gear shift. Really. Wait, that's wait, wait. Pretty, is that a pretty, flare in the passenger footwell? I think that's made out of... <laughs> yeah. Is that that's, a road that's, that's probably factory fitment. <laughs> oh, but yeah. And that's... Look, that's... Right. That is no, not I think, they, I think they took a piece out of um, Eddie Murphy's raw costume. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 80s. Period correct. Period correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember no. when when Car and Driver ran like a like it was it was like a static preview of this thing. It was like Toyota's making this gullwing thing. And uh, yeah, we wrote a yeah. letter to Toyota. Yeah. So the engine the engine's basically Paseo stuff. It's a one point five liter four with one hundred eight horsepower. So if it's Paseo stuff, you can be you can certify. You could presumably yeah. I thought about that probably. If you had a Paseo a Paseo powertrain and had all the emissions equipment, maybe you could get this to to smog. But also, it's been it's been hit in the back. Just so oh, you know. sir, it has. No, look at all the badges. Everything's perfect. No, look at the look at no no license plate, surround, license plate surround. License plate surround. That's just missing a license. That, that just no, means it's banging. It's, the, no, it's broken. 
and the badge is missing on the front. It's been hit up front too. Oh yeah, yeah. that that out. is an EPA approved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found I found an intake like, replacement for it. Don't header worry. wrap, Tony. <laughs> header wrap. Wrap. wrap on the headers. You got the thermal wrap on the headers. The California Air Resources Board is already sending an agent out to. <laughs> Yeah, wa it wa running. this is in Seattle. Seattle's a carb state for sure. There are agents raiding this place. It's got adjustable yeah. camber. It's got camber plates for the struts. Oh, God. Look at that. Nobody else is going doors. And you guys aren't even whining about the wheels. I got replacement wheels. There's, there's, there's too much else to whine about. I, I, I would say we, we just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> is what the, is the I was going to bring up the wheels. The wheels were definitely going to be in my conversation. I've, I've got wheels and I've got tires for it. I'm ready. To okay. Go. I'm ready to go to Radwood. Right, let's see the rear view. Go to a rear view. I'm trying to I'm, find it. I'm telling you that that thing has been, by God, that's terrible. Look oh, come that. on. Too bad it doesn't have an awesome, like, like. That's not that bad. It's a steering wheel away from good. Yes. It, <laughs> I'm, no. I'm, no, no. This is, a, this, is a good, this is a good choice, Tony. I'm not. I mean, I'm. I'm just upset that you go. That you are. You know, just completely um, going against all of your beliefs but then, in order I, to win. I well, wait a second. I'm trying to win. I understand that. And that the the badge has been shifted to the right. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but it's, it's clear. It's clear to me. But, uh, is, is rad a concept? That these were all care? over Columbus, Indiana, and driving around. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know. like I, I can't help my childhood. I'm just telling you what I saw. Yeah, there it is with my steering wheel. This hmm. is just a great choice. I is rad know. is rad an American cultural thing, or is rad something we extended into Japan? Uh. We haven't done anything in Japan yet, but I think that it's there is definitely a nostalgia for the area for the era. Yeah, in but Japan. but we were rad here. Oh, Meanwhile, Japan God. was buying all the buildings in the eighties and the nineties. Sure, that, sure. Yeah. Look, Tony, do you trust someone whose hands could do that to a steering wheel? <laughs> I mean, what kind of mitts does that did that person have? I, well, oh. I think I think the mileage on this thing is very suspect because you have that much wear on the steering wheel and that much wear on everything else, and he says it has only like sixteen thousand kilometers on I it. I think it's just that's just how excited you are when you drive this thing. You just <laughs> yeah, so no, I think I, just, I think that's just how all over the day. I was gonna say, like Tony, those door cards. I, I feel like if you were walking around Radwood and saw this thing, you'd get excited. And then you'd walk up to him and you'd be like, mm. "Yeah, look at that. Come on. <laughs> be like, like, you know, yeah. I think part of the part of the problem with imported cars is that uh, everybody in Japan still smokes, so there's just yeah. like smoke okay, look, residue and all that, over that's the inside. That's another problem of on top of whatever. Yeah. What kind of what kind of hand grip does that <laughs> to a wheel? <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's not that's not influenced by question. pharmaceuticals. <laughs> what food does that person just like? Grab, <laughs> grab the steering wheel. No, the ashtray. The ashtray doesn't look like it's been used, Brad. So maybe okay, okay on the side. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Right. What is that? Side of it. What is that connected to the ashtray though? The uh, that the <laughs> slot underneath the ashtray. Where? The shift to the left underneath. There's some sort of like mini disc player. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, on the right. On the, You're talking about to the right. On the yeah, to the right of the steering wheel. I'm sorry. Oh, there's, there's like a little slot thing down there. Let's see. This this is the this there, there's there's no, no. <laughs> look this down. This yeah. right below right below the push beneath button. Beneath that. Yeah. Beneath that. This? Yes. There. I don't know. It's a <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's got it's also are those are those pedals aftermarket pedals? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean this, sure. this, this, this is an eleventh hour pick. I was picking this right up until we went to So, so you, let me see if you had that. You had this. You had this Beretta, which was the right color for radness. I mean, the, the right Beretta thing. And you said, no, that's not good enough. It's not good <laughs> enough for me. Yeah. No perfect. matter what, I was going to win. So basically. Oh no, no, you. I think you. I think you passed up your winner with your but, hubris. <laughs> no. But one, one doesn't like you. Don't you? Don't break all of your, you know, clauses. Yeah. Well, Only Casey Brad, and I chose cards we I actually have, like. I don't have to worry about you guys judging. Brad is going to judge it. You, you know, you know when I was looking, the cars I was looking for that I couldn't find, I couldn't find a Geo Storm in that like aqua color. Yeah. 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 That, that would be convertible. Or Mark a, Mackay had one of those. Holy man, that thing was slow. Or, or, a, Geo, or a Geo Metro convertible in aqua. Which is and wait a minute. I thought, so wait. Ooh, what Brad about is choosing Mercury? the winner? 
Yes. Wait, well, let's go through it. Well, I guess we can do the normal. Because <laughs> okay, I was going to say that. You should have put that in the, you should have put that in the notice. I think I think we can go through the normal thing, but have Brad have the final say. Yes, exactly. Thank okay. you for interrupting me to say the same thing. Because I need to win, <laughs> and then Brad can do whatever he wants. <laughs> All right. Um, so who went first? Pearly, you went first. I'm going to give went you a thumbs up. I like your choice. Out of the box. Right. Out of the box. What, what car was it? Oh, the Premier? Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's Brad Wood. Look. Come on, JR. I'm, I'm, I'm only giving the car a thumbs up because it's an AMC and, and it's my thing. But Pearly choosing that car, that was that was cheap. But I'm That makes it go up. this way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like everything but Pearly. I want to <laughs> just, just Pearly choosing my car. Well, Pearly, okay. what's your favorite car? What's your favorite car, Pearly? My favorite car? I can't do the Sarah. I just, it's not rad. And also that thing has been beat to hell. I don't care what the mileage is on it. We already know what Pearly's going to choose. Go ahead. I I want the GTV. I gotta go with the GTV. Of course. <laughs> what else was Burley gonna choose? <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Uh, what I can't pick a celebrity wagon. I can't. I mean, oh, celebrity wagon's awesome. I would love to sell a celebrity wagon on the lawn at Radwood. <laughs> the lawn. The lawn at Radwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What? what? Are, you gonna, are, you, are, you, are you are you gonna wear like a seersucker suit and a straw oh, hat on around? The Look at that! Oh my goodness! Wow! I, I should have taken my heart medication. On. To get it getting <laughs> sideways. Thank you, for, thank you, Casey. Okay, it's right, 80. Jonathan, it's 80. What's your favorite uh, Gullwing Toyota? Oh, <laughs> I got to go GTV as well. Oh, uh, come on! That was, I mean, I mean, how, and you in Columbus, Indiana, in the ninth grade to see someone with a GTV, oh, oh, like Jonathan, Jonathan, seeing a Syrah. That's the automotive equivalent of parachute pants, Jonathan. <laughs> Which and that's what we were wearing <laughs> to the roller skating rink. Are you kidding me? We killed it. <laughs> Jonathan Kids have made a comeback. Jonathan, I'm not clear on this. Where did you spend your ninth grade year? Oh, of all people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, Pearly, I'll play. <laughs> I spent it in Columbus, Columbus, Indiana. <laughs> so, small farm town. Uh, Already thumbs up for the GTV6. What's your uh, favorite? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah it's a... Uh, Tony's Toyota, even though it's oh, even though it goes against everything that Toyota stands for. It goes against everything. Well, that's that's another, he, he, he's voting for the car, not for Tony's choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car. Yeah, that's like, fine. That's fine. Like, you, 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 sal you salute the rank, not the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Well, right. The good thing uh, is, I don't, I don't work for car and driver, so I can always just tell him the off. Toyota Syrah. <laughs> Thumbs oh, up, thumbs I mean, down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. So it lands in the middle. And then my favorite car is probably Jonathan's. I like the old American <laughs> stuff. So I'm going to go with Jonathan's. All right, Brad. Now you're going to really tell us who the winner is. If you want to rank them fourth to first. I, I can do that. I actually, I think I'm going to go uh, first to sixth because there were two that should have made the list and didn't. One. <laughs> I love it. So, so I will say that the the Indy definitely should have been your pick instead of the Toyota. <laughs> and I would have given that the win. Oh, <laughs> I told you. That was the car. That was the car. But you you just don't see those anymore. I've I've actually never seen that particular one at a Radwood. Uh, it's the teal and pink, and you, you just got to give it to it. Yeah. Um, Second place would have gone to the Buick T-Type because that is such a rad car. And, uh, I love okay. it. Now we're getting right in votes. And, and unfortunately, neither of those were in the in the four. So, <laughs> I, God, we suck. Uh, I normally I would probably give the award to the Alpha, but. <laughs> I don't, I mean, okay, I understand that the rules were under 30 grand, and you definitely stuck to the letter of the rules, <laughs> but everything else coming in under 10, I would rather have something under 10 instead of something that's 30 grand. It's a really nice car, and I probably should give it the award, but I'm not going to. I like to say at Radwood, you can't buy a trophy, so uh, if you just... <laughs> 
show up in the most expensive car, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win it. We don't, we don't understand uh, that language on window shop, Brad. <laughs> we, don't, we don't understand that at all. <laughs> but, but, um, I think I'm going to go with the Eagle. Yes, I Whoa. win. I win. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think you guys realize how improbable this is. That yeah, Bradley Brunel would think- oh, no, we do. Believe us, we, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Really, we've spent the past year with we with you. We know how unlikely it is to you win. What's what's but, the reason, Brad? Uh, I, the reason is literally you just never see him. Uh, so for something like that to show up at a Radwood, in even if it's been hit, even if you know whatever, it's in good driver shape, and that's something that people would walk past uh, a Diablo to go look at because, yeah. like, I haven't seen one of these in thirty years. This is crazy. And it's not necessarily the one I would want to drive or own, but uh, as, <laughs> it's one of those it's one of those kinds of cars that you want a friend to own so that you can experience it without living it. So well, Pearly, that's, I think that's, 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 be... two, that's two wins in a row for Pearly on these contests. I want to create. I want to. If I had a low mileage. Uh, 3000 GT VR4. Where would that have gone? <laughs> that was the, that a... was that uh the yellow yeah um, lime green yellow. Oh man, that's <laughs> tough because that probably would have ranked pretty high too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, man, those are. I mean, that that's another car you just don't see in good shape. They're all every yeah. single one of them is beat. Yeah. And well, they're... Could, yeah, because people tuners tuners got a hold of them because those yeah. Like, you could just you could just pump them full of boost and and they were cheap at the time yeah. i mean they still kind of are but like like yeah i mean that's a that's a really cool car and and especially with the the jdm style to it a little bit um tony i will say that the sarah could have won if it had been non-stock wheels if you had done like a full uh uh period correct build on it oh, okay. that that would have been very cool we love to see stuff that was built in the era. So like era, era appropriate wheels, era appropriate body kits, uh, especially like mini trucks with big stereos and stuff like that. Like we love people who super lean into the era and, uh, and dig in and get those details right. So, Tony, Tony would source 1990s date codes for the tires. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I tried uh, to put it back to stock. Wait, so a- after the yeah, AMC, yeah, yeah. then what? And and that that Sarah unfortunately was just a, a not a great example. It, was, <laughs> it looked it looked like it needed a lot of help. Which I know, and, I, you I, know, I recognize. I'm it. not I'm not saying you couldn't give it the help it needs, um, <laughs> but but it needs it needs a, a lot of work. So I, would whatever, back, whatever I would walk. I would walk past the Diablo. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say whatever the Bigfoot of hands is, that's who owned that car. <laughs> I don't know what what that kind of creature is, but yeah, the Bigfoot of hands. Those, why, those why, do you think, why do you think they had to replace the pedals in it too? It's <laughs> <laughs> just be, a Sasquatch car. Yeah, those, those wouldn't be hands; they'd be paws. Uh, <laughs> no, I I would walk past uh, a Diablo to see a Sarah in in the flesh. I mean, that's a car I've never we, seen in person. We pretty much have a Sarah at every show. Oh, I yeah. So say, I come, would come to a rad one. to see any of these cars, especially. Yes, Jonathan. I agree. I love Jonathan's car. I just love that. I will. I will say caveat. Everything picked was great and totally fits the vibe of the show. Um, and I love seeing stuff like the celebrity wagon and stuff like that. That's in good shape. That's been cared for. That somebody loved. And that's what Radwood's all about. Is you know you might have enthusiasm for your car. And we just you just want to share it with people, so that's that's what we love to have at Radwood. So the next show is in San Francisco on July. What was the date? Tenth, July tenth. Cool. All right. Tickets oh, on minute, sale minute, now. I, I want to. Oh, sorry, I just want to get that ranking straight. So two cars that weren't on the show. One. The one. Yes. No, no. The 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 turquoise Beretta. and the, yes. the, uh, the 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 T type, the Regal. Yeah. Two. So those two, two were cars before that weren't on the show we actually presented. They, then the won. AMC, yeah. yes. then the Celebrity Wagon. Probably the GTV6, then the wagon. <laughs> oh, then the Sarah last? Yes. It's, <laughs> it's beat. It's really bad. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. I just wanted to get that clear. <laughs> <Okay>. Without, like, 
<laughs> Admittedly, no, I got first and last. I got first and last place. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Admittedly, like the steering wheel, if it was if it was perfect, it would probably be up there. But that, I mean, <laughs> there was rough. In, was the interior is rough. The exterior is eh. The wheels are wrong. Uh, the shift boot was weird. The yeah. aftermarket stereo was bad. Like it needed a lot of work. It was bad. <laughs> so. I, I know it was bad. Congratulations, right. Pearly. Then yeah. <laughs> that brings us to the end of another episode. Thanks for joining us. Uh, great win, Pearly. That's two in a row. Let's see if you can get the streak alive next week. No damn way I'm going to keep it alive. <laughs> but Pearly, well, the Pearly didn't win last the, week. He won. I gave it to him. I gave him the commercial. To quote, to quote the great Lou Brown, uh, you know, one one more is a streak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching this long, and um, hit hit up Radwood on July 10th. Is and there a website that they can go to see the Radwood where they use Google? Yes, uh, Radwood.com or yeah, Google Radwood. Uh, it would be so great if Radwood to to uh, to enter into Radwood, you you would have to send like a self addressed stamped envelope somewhere <laughs> to, to Scottsdale, Arizona, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or to, Pueblo, to Colorado. Pueblo, Colorado. Pueblo, yeah. Colorado. Owens Mills, yeah. Maryland. Yeah. 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 Send send SASE to Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 6652. Right. Okay. Or Scranton, PA. Yeah. All right. Well, now, now we're officially going to end this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for having me. It has the sophisticated styling of a European touring sedan and that wonderful European capability underway. Agile, precise, with the luxury of room. More passenger room than any car in its class. And a seven-year, 70,000-mile protection plan. Introducing the 1988 Eagle Premier. It's well-named because it's a first. An American-built car with European sophistication and handling.